Hey, what's up? Hitfilm Express has a new process for downloading the free version. So I'm making a new video for beginners. If you think you might need a refresher in a few years, hit subscribe. And if they change their process again, there will be a new video here. So first things first, you can just start by searching for Hitfilm Express. This will usually lead to the download Hitfilm Express site. Make sure it's on fxhome.com, hitfilm-express.en.softtonic. This is not the official download site. They are probably allowed to do this, but it's not official. So make sure you go to fxhome.com. Here we are, and I'm just gonna accept the cookies. And here we can just hit download Hitfilm Express by clicking this. Okay, now this might look a bit confusing. This is not a very common user interface. But before we take care of that, let me go to fxhome.com because maybe you somehow went to the site directly. Now, if you go to the site directly, you have to find the free version because there is HitFilm Pro, there is uh, iMerge Pro, and there might be more software in the future. So you can, of course, use these big uh, slides to go to HitFilm Express and then click it. Or you can go to the menu at the top right and then click HitFilm Express, which is marked with free here. And then again, hit download HitFilm Express. Now here is this pay what you want interface, which is interesting that they offer it. And if you know that you like HitFilm Express and want to use it and have the money, you should totally buy it. But if you want just the free version, all you do is you click on this slider. Currently it is one of three animals and you just move it to the left until it is at zero and then they are sad about this. You can just slide it to the left and pay zero USD or Euro or whatever it is. So now hit the download button. And now you have to fill out this form. We can try to hit the button that is suspiciously download button-ish, but it will tell you that you need to put in a username, put in an email address. So then just fill in your data. Um, I don't, I don't want their emails, but it doesn't really matter. This is a throwaway email account. You might want to use a throwaway email account. You might want to use your official one. So send me the express download. Hit that. And they say the email has been sent. You will need your email address and your password later or it will not work. So write it down or save it somewhere. Um, I'm just going to click continue learning while you wait. What is that? Blender to HitFilm. Now that is interesting. By the way, no Star Wars movie has been edited in HitFilm. This is just a fan-made uh, Star Wars movie. So if I check my email, there is the download link. And if I scroll down, mm, I see this download button. Get your Express installer. Yep, that's what I want. All right, this site seems familiar. Here I just get the Windows installer. Click. And it is downloading and now I just need to wait two minutes. So to find the location of the downloaded file, you can just click it in the bar to the bottom left or click on the arrow and then go to show in folder. Or if you are using Firefox, for example, there should be a download indicator at the top right here in this area. Or you can probably find download folder or downloads in the menu. Probably the same in Edge. And in downloads, you can open show in folder. So here's the install file. It's a .msi file. You might not see that if you have file name extensions hidden. I like to see them. If you double click it, it will offer to install, but you can cancel at any moment if you want. Well, I'm going to install it, accept the terms, and I want to customize because I am a bit suspicious of what software is trying to install on my computer. Well, okay, effects, sure. Application files, of course, required. Mocha hit film. Is this even gonna work in the free version? I don't know, but it's only 50 megs, so let's include it. And finally, I will hit install. This will require me to give admin permissions. The icon and the name would be different here, but it's pretty much the same interface. Now, in my case, for some reason, this install fails, but all you have to do is press done and then just restart the process. Second time it should work. Did for me. Well, the install is rather quick and at the end we can start HitFilm Express if we want. So let's click finish and it should automatically start HitFilm Express. Now your first instinct will be to close this window and then to hit the new project button. Depending on what you're editing, you might want to use the defaults. For gaming, you probably will want to use 60 FPS, but it depends on what you record. I'm gonna go with OK and I'm just gonna show you that 
it isn't that easy unfortunately if you try to get started immediately like that you will run into a problem in a few moments if you do just drag in a video clip to the media area and then drag that to the timeline it will work and i recommend that if the first clip you add has the specs of the end result that you want then you should press yes here this is a 4k video and uh, we had a full HD project, so I said yes. You can of course start editing immediately, you can already shorten videos or slice them and rearrange them and delete uh, gaps. But if you try to export, which is of course a very important step, by going to export and then to file and you just type in anything and hit save and then wait for that to finish. You will see down here already that there is a super annoying watermark. If we look at it, yeah, you don't want that, right? Create it using add-ons or the demo version. So to fix that, you have to activate the free version of HitFilm Express. Yes, that's how it is. Just hit the activate button at the top right over there. And then, hey, it's the window we closed in the beginning. So let's just get a free license, which just sends us back here. So it doesn't really make sense. Instead, let's just activate and unlock. For that, we need password and email address. So I hope you wrote those down. I did. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to restart. Hey, another teaching moment. Let's go to File, Save, or Save As. And let's just save this as uh, Cat1. And now we can close the software. And most likely there is a shortcut on your desktop. If not, you can just use the start menu, hit Windows and type in hit Film Express and then start it. And now, as you can see at the top right, there is no more activate button. So that's good. And here at the top left, you can see previously saved projects. So if you didn't move them, you can just open them. Here's my cat back. Okay. And let's try to export it again. For example, by right-clicking and then duplicating task. And it will say it's ready. And then we're just going to press start exporting. As you can see down here, no more watermark. And if you click this path here, it will directly open the folder. Uh, and let's see, anything to no watermark. Beautiful, in it? Anything without the two, still the watermark. That's the old version. Okay, before I let you go, let me show you one more thing. Uh, export, we can just close again. You probably want to use effects. If I go to effects and pick something interesting over here, for example, leave color, you see it has an add-on label. If I pick some color, for example, if I disable it and then click and drag on to the blue of the eyes and then turn it on, yeah, it will kind of make everything gray except for the eyes. Much better in this clip, of course, makes sense, right? Because this clip doesn't have the effect, but this one does. You can see there is a watermark over there on this part, but not on this part. Let's see what happens if we export it. Go to export, to file, anything free. Save. It's going to export automatically. And I'm going to click the name of the file. It's going to open this. And as we can see, oh, at first, no watermark. But then later the other part with watermark. So it's kind of selective. Even if you have activated the free version, there are features which you need to pay for unless you are cool with the watermark, which I don't think anybody is cool with the watermark. So either don't use these effects that, um, you know, have the add-on label or pay for one of these uh, strange uh, ranks, tiers, or get uh, it film Pro. How much is that? Oh boy. Or use a completely free video editor that might not put restrictions on effects, but might have other issues like usability, stability. You'll have to find out what's best for you. My recommendation currently, probably Olive, but in my opinion, it is very likely that you can just get away with HitFilm by avoiding uh, the add-on effects. Just don't use denoise, etc. or lens distort. Hope this is useful. Give this video a thumbs up if it was. Sorry if it ended up a bit long. They do make the process a little bit complicated. Fair enough. Maybe we'll see each other again if I happen to make a tutorial that you happen to need in a few years or months. Until next time, ciao!